Okay, so you open your boot, and in the boot you will see there is a little sort of felt compartment here, and if you pull it from this end, you can remove that little bit there. Right, now I'm going to pass the camera now to Kate, who's in the back of the car. We've got a 10mm ratchet ring spanner. Now there's actually a nut. Um, I don't know what you can see here, but I'll point to it. You won't be able to see it. It's about halfway up the light. It's right next to the corner of this trim here. And I'm going to put my ring spanner in here and get on the end of the nut. Okay, he says... tried with a socket and it was quite hard to get the socket in but the ring spanner seems a better job now, I was trying to work out if it would be easier to do this with the hood up or down but I think the hood up's going to be there Now you might need to do this to change the bulbs. You can probably just take the circuit board off the back. We'll show you that in a in a minute. All right then. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right, so that. Right. Okay. So that's the nut I've managed to remove. So it, it's got one of these integral spinning washers that's captive on there. Okay, then there's a connector. Now I'll, I'll pull the connector. There's a little tab you've got to pull down, and then you pull the connector straight back. So if you can see here, it might be easy when we're out the car. I'll show you again. It's a little tab you've got to remove. Now on the lights, there's a little spring clip on the far side of the light. You've got to pull towards you, and then the light pops out. So if I just grab the camera from the outside, if you want to jump, come round, Kate. We'll go through all that again. I'm going to grab a camera. So what there is, is there's a spring clip on this side. And if you just squeeze it in, you can then just push the light. Here he comes. Okay, so what I was doing here, right, you can see I'm pushing on that spring clip. There, there's also one at the bottom, and you give it a pull, it comes out. So this is the thread where we had the, the nut, a single nut we had to take off. Okay, and let me show you that connector again. If I can find the other end of that connector in there, I'll show you how that came off. So, in the car, whee, it's in the car like that. And what you've got to do is you've got to just press this top little spring-loaded flap here right at the end in the middle and then that allows the connector just to pull out so you've got a little clip there you can see that okay and then that's the the lamp out if you're changing your bulbs um, I think you squeeze these two bits together here okay let's have a look that should have we got another one at the bottom as well mm -hmm. I haven't practiced this I'm making this up as I go along what have we got on the bottom there And there you'll see that's your uh, so if you need to change your bulbs it may be possible to do that from in the car but to be honest it's probably as well just to take it all out and then you can give the area around here give all this a clean check the contacts are all clean and put it all back together I think it's probably worth taking the whole lot out